Silly season got started up a few days ago with Michael McDowell, but silly season continues to heat up. There is a bunch of rumors that we're going to go over today on the Weekly Rundown. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think of these potential silly season rumors? Plus, give me any improvements on the channel. Alright, I'm going to start with a little bit of a disclaimer. A little bit under the weather right now so if the quality of this video is not the greatest i do apologize but i really want to get these silly season rumors out there there's a lot of rumors going on right now about silly season silly season is really heating up and it's heating up early we had a new episode of door bumper clear come out earlier today as i am recording this on may 13th and they went into a little bit about silly season one of these things that was mentioned was a potential merger. And I'm not talking about Stuart Haas and Front Row. I was talking about Stuart Haas and Front Row Motorsports potentially merging last week. But we have a new potential merger on the table with Trackhouse and Colleague. It's impossible. Is it? Or is it so possible that your head is spinning like a top? It can't be. Can it? Or is your entire world just crashing down all around you? I'm not sure if this would actually be a merger or more like a purchase, kind of similar to the way Trackhouse purchased Chip Ganassi Racing. Because it was mentioned, this is how Trackhouse could potentially have both Shane Van Gisbergen and Zane Smith as their drivers next year in 2025. Because if they purchase or merge with Colleague Racing, this would mean two more charters and that would give Trackhouse the four charters that they need. I think this is a potentially amazing move from both sides. Colleague, it's no secret that they've been struggling in the Cup Series. I think they had a decent start in the Cup Series. I'm not sure what happened. It seems like they ran out of money and were unable to find sponsorship. So they've kind of had to change their whole philosophy on motorsports because colleague racing used to be known as the team oh we're here to trophy hunt we're here to just get trophies at this point they're just there to make laps and then you have a team like track house who has all these aspiring goals looking to grow as an organization day in and day out and they also have all these drivers in the pipeline they have zane smith and svg but they also have a young superstar by the name of connor zillich coming through the pipeline as well this rumor definitely caught me by surprise, but I think it'll be a great move by both teams. These teams already have a phenomenal relationship, but when it comes to this rumor, I would take it with a grain of salt, as you should with all of these rumors in this video, because first of all, nothing is confirmed, and second of all, it is from Dora Bumper Clear, and they have burned us before when it comes to rumors. Another part of this is that there's apparently talks for Cole Custer to make that move to Front Row Motorsports, next season in the cup series in the number 34 i'm not sure if i'm for or against this move i think cole custer is a really talented race car driver but at the same time i don't know if he necessarily fills the shoes of michael mcdowell because michael mcdowell is a very skillful driver but he also brings a lot of information a lot of know-hows when it comes to a race team i don't know cole custer as well i'm unsure if he'll be able to bring the same baggage that McDowell is able to bring to Front Row Motorsports. So when it pertains to this rumor, I think it would be a phenomenal move for Cole Custer to move up and drive that 34, because that 34 does have good speed, and I think he can potentially do well in the 34. But from Front Row's side of it, I wouldn't say it's a bad move on their part. I just think they could potentially get a better move for the 34 than Cole Custer. Like I mentioned in my Michael McDowell to Spire Motorsports video, I'm not sure what sponsorship, if any, if McDowell brings it with him to Spire Motorsports. Cole Custer does have a lot of sponsorship dollars. Two more rumors to go through, starting with this one. And this one is Harrison Burton in the 21. Sounds like that relationship is ending at the end of this season. This comes as no surprise as there was actually rumors last year about Harrison Burton getting the boot at the end of last season. They gave him another season 
in the number 21 at Wood Brothers. And Harrison Burton has just not at all been getting that performance. Penske as a whole has struggled this season. Not just Harrison Burton for Wood Brothers, but last year and the year before. Haven't really seen any progress out of Harrison Burton and his performance. Especially if you're going to directly compare him to, as a lot of people do, to Matthew Benedetto's performance in that number 21 car. I'm a big fan of Harrison Burton. I like him a lot. But I never thought he should have gotten that 21 ride in the first place. In my opinion, Harrison Burton was not ready for the Cup Series. And I think you've had a lot of talented race car drivers jump in a little bit too early. And some of them, like a Joey Logano, it worked out for. Joey Logano, I felt like, got in the Cup Series way too soon. It took him a long time, but once he got good, he was one of the best in the sport. But in that same breath, you could have a driver like a Casey Atwood who is a really talented race car driver at every level of racing that he was at, got to the Cup Series and struggled and never really had a great opportunity after a couple of years. So if I were Harrison Burton, what I would do is do what John Hunter Nemechek did a couple of years ago, go back to the Truck Series and reclimb that ladder up to the Cup Series with a better race team and with more experience under your belt. But with the 21 opening up, who will fill that slot? And the rumor is that Chase Briscoe could potentially fill that number 21 slot as Ford is really trying to keep Chase Briscoe underneath their banner. I've mentioned on the channel before that this is a contract year for Chase Briscoe. What does he do next year? Does Ford want to keep him? Does he even stay with Stuart Haas Racing? Stuart Haas Racing's future is high up in the air. Who knows what's going to happen with SHR next year? and in the future. I think this would be a phenomenal move by both Briscoe and Wood Brothers. We've seen that the 21 has very similar, if not the exact same equipment that Roger Penske with Team Penske has. We've seen multiple drivers perform really well in the 21 car over the last 15 years, like Ryan Blaney, Matthew Benedetto, two drivers that really performed well in this number 21 car after Wood Brothers created that relationship with Team Penske. But over the last couple years, Harrison Burton has really struggled in this number 21 car. I think Briscoe could be that uptick in performance and information that Wood Brothers need to get back to where they were just a couple of years ago. Because I think just a couple of years ago, we were talking about how Wood Brothers is becoming that strong race team that they used to be again. Maybe not nearly as strong as they were back in the day, but they are beginning to improve. And then I think when Harrison Burton got into the car, those talks kind of just went way out the window and weren't talked about again. And I would really like Wood Brothers to get back to where they were not all that long ago and get that 100th win that they want so badly. So just to reiterate, I think it would be a great move by both parts, Briscoe and the Wood Brothers, to make this deal happen. I'm not sure if Penske would have a word when it comes to any of this at all, but I think it'd be a good move on their part as well. If they're willing to give Austin Sendrick one more year to develop, which seems like he will, it seems like Austin Sendrick most likely will be in the two car next year, that gives the opportunity to give Sendrick that one more year and see what Briscoe does in the 21. If Briscoe performs in the 21, I can see him going to the two car in 2026. So we have one more big rumor to go over, and people are connecting dots when it comes to this rumor, so I would say... Take this rumor with a bigger grain of salt than you would take any of the other rumors. I'm not saying that I want to say it. I'm just saying that I can't. Sure you can. Say it. Say it right now. <sighs> I will say it with you. Part of this rumor seems very true, but then there is some connected dots near the end of it. The beginning portion of this rumor is that Noah Gregson will be on the market at the end of this season. He's not locked into Stuart Haas or into Ford for next year. So there's apparently a lot of race teams that are taking a look at Noah Gregson to sign them for 2025. And this comes as quite believable. We've seen Noah Gregson perform in the Xfinity Series. He has a bunch of wins. He almost won a championship for Junior Motorsports. We see how he interacts with fans and sponsors. He's really good for the sport and for the community. He sits there and signs every autograph. He's amazing with sponsors and promotions. Other than one incident on Twitter, I think most people would consider Noah Gregson to be the perfect driver and the perfect face for the sport of NASCAR. 
But the one issue that he's had since he's gotten to the Cup Series has been performance. He really struggled in the number 42 for Legacy last year. And then when he got signed to Stuart Haas in the number 10 this year, a lot of people are questioning if he even deserved the ride. Well, he's came out in 2024 and he's not just performed well, he's been the best performer on his team, Stuart Haas Racing, this season. He's been gaining sponsorship throughout the year, some old sponsorships that he used to have, some brand new ones that are getting on board, and he's becoming one of the hottest drivers in the sport. With him not bringing any sponsorship or really any funding whatsoever to Stuart Haas Racing, they signed him on a one-year deal because Tony Stewart and Gene Haas and everybody over there were willing to give this driver another opportunity. And this one opportunity has potentially created many opportunities over many different race teams. And one of these race teams that he's rumored to potentially sign with is actually Richard Childress Racing. Now this is when I say to take it with the biggest grain of salt that you possibly can. I've been reading up on Twitter when it comes to these rumors, so this one honestly could potentially be fully made up. There is the rumors with Noah Gregson talking to these different race teams, but apparently this specific rumor about Noah Gregson potentially talking with Richard Childress Racing has actually come in from the track. There's been some overheard conversation and talk at the racetrack that Noah Gregson could potentially race for Richard Childress Racing in the year 2025 and replacing Austin Dillon. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! I'm not sure what this means for the three car. We're going to get that out of the way real quick. I'm going to assume that Noah Gregson would not drive the three car even if he was replacing Austin Dillon. But if this rumor is true, I'm ecstatic. Huge Kyle Busch fan. I'm a huge Noah Gregson fan. And I've talked about it on this channel before how much I love Austin Dillon and everything he's done. Not just for Richard Childress Racing, but for the sport. He just doesn't have the talent, in my opinion, to hold that ride that he has. I feel like sometimes Kyle Busch is on a single car organization. I, sometimes I forget Austin Dillon is even out there. I've even called for Austin Hill to come up and replace Austin Dillon. He stinks and I don't like him. I really love this rumor and I hope there is truth to it because I would love to see Noah Gregson work with Kyle Busch again. As some of you know, Noah Gregson used to race for Toyota a couple years ago, racing the truck series actually for Kyle Busch. These two do have a good relationship. And Noah Gregson also reminds me a lot of a younger Kyle Busch with his personality and the way he races. So this could be great, or I'm just making myself look stupid talking about a rumor that potentially has no at all truth to it. But let me know your thoughts. How do you think Silly Season is going so far? Do you believe any of these rumors? Could you see any of these rumors being valid? And which ones do you think has zero truth to them whatsoever? Let me know down below. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.